So I already know that many of you who clicked on the video has already heard that the SEC has surrendered against Ripple in their lawsuit. And many people may feel that that is a very positive thing to see and hear. That the price of XRP should now run back all the way up there to 90 cents to 95 cents. Let's chill out, like cool down, relax, because that may not be the case. One thing that we do see off a chart in XRP after that news was released was that the market did move higher, right? But only to the point that it is still trading within a trading channel, which is why I'm here to tell you all, like, just relax, cool down. I know many of you want the market in XRP to hit $250,000 per XRP. That's highly unlikely that's ever going to happen because if that's the case, then that would mean to me that there's other cryptocurrency that's even more valuable than what XRP will be worth. Or even legitimate businesses will have to be more valuable than one XRP token. So let's pull it back. Let's just try to see if we can grab some bread out the market from this particular cryptocurrency. Because I did a price prediction into the market in XRP right here on October the 15th, 2023. Looking for price in XRP to go down. But then this news hit the market right there. The US SEC drops claims against two Ripple Ads executives. Wall Street Journal, SEC retreats from high stakes lawsuit over XRP cryptocurrency. And then you here have CoinGate. XRP lawsuit, John Deaton weighs on SEC's possible appeal and rationale. Cointelegraph, SEC moves to dismiss lawsuit against Ripple's Brad Garland House and the other executive. So they try to say that that's the reason why the market in the XRP on this day went up 6.5%. That's not the reason. The reason why XRP went up on October the 19th may have to do a small little bit about that information. But overall, we already knew that the area of support was hitting the market in XRP around 47 cents. That's the reason why buyers in the market in XRP have been buying even before the news came out right here on October the 12th. And they did it even on September the 14th. So what was the reason why XRP bounced there? They're trying to tell you that that's the reason why the market went higher, but now the buyers were already here willing to buy XRP. That's why it went up. Now, the question is, OK. Market went up. So what will the market in XRP continue to trade this way? Or will we finally see the market break above 55 cents? Let's try to figure that out, because I did bring that on your radar that the market could still hold 47 cents. And it actually did right there on the 19th. So the market is not that bearish to where we can see it run down to 42 cents, at least not yet. Not yet. Let me go ahead and get rid of that price prediction. And currently, let's look at the market in XRP on the two day time frame. This here is bullish, that two day price bar. The following one, it was mixed. The market didn't maintain this massive bullishness the prior two days, though, which will be a negative for the buyers. We would have loved to see this two day price bar run about run all the way back up to 55 cents, but it didn't take a look. It's on the three day chart. Are you still bullish in XRP? It looks bullish there. It is on the five, seven hours and 32 minutes left. What do you guys think? How do you think this five day price bar is going to end when it prints? If it ends the way that it looks now, I would have to be bullish. I will have to look for the price in XRP to continue to inch up there towards that 55 cents resistance area. Here it is on the weekly chart. Same thing. It looks pretty much identical to the five day time frame. What about on the two weeks? The two weeks chart shows us that the selling did hit the market in XRP, but the buyers bought it. Three weeks. Here it is on the five. Take a look on the monthly. Real quick look on the hourly chart. Here it is on the seven hour chart. The market is still maintaining its ability to go up. Because these seven hour price bars are sellings. It tells you that the market is getting hit with selling, but we're not getting that reaction. Price is not continually, continually going down. It's supposed to go down once you see these indicators of weakness right there, those weakness price bars. But instead, the market is staying elevated, which tells you that the market is buying up the selling, which is another reason why we're going to maintain our idea that XRP is going to continue to inch higher. Okay, I'm not saying the breakout, but I do suspect it might hit 54 cents, then 55 cents as the first two targets. Anything outside of that, it would be because of this massive consolidational 
trading range this market has been in in XRP. All right, so I'm, at, I'm actually finished. Let me go ahead and put this on the chart and we'll be done. We're going to anticipate that XRP is going to continue to go higher in price. Okay. First target is going to be 54 cents. It's around three and three quarters. Second target is going to be 55, which is 5.48. Let's go ahead and extend this over a little bit. Give the market some opportunity to move. Okay. And we want to see price in XRP hold 50 cents, maybe a little bit lower. Let me take it down just a little bit to allow this play to occur. All right. Meaning we need to let the price in XRP trade in between this price prediction box in order to see this price prediction come to fruition. If we see a break below 49 cents, then we need to have another conversation because those buyers here, they're not buying anymore then. All right, so give me your thoughts. Hit the like button, send me and also subscribe. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.